Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will see what is the persistent cache, static cache, dynamic cache and shared cache. So we will see overall all the lookup cache in today's video tutorial. So first let's understand what is the persistent cache. So using non-persistent cache and persistent cache. Non-persistent cache is nothing but it is a normal cache. So by default, integration service uses non-persistent cache when you enable caching in lookup transformation. So integration service delete the cache files at the end of the session and next time when you run the session, it will build the memory cache from the database. In persistent cache, what happened? In persistent cache, lookup source does not change between session run. If you want to save and reuse the cache file, you can configure the transformation to use a persistent cache. The first time when the session run a persistent lookup cache, it save the cache file to disk instead of deleting them, where we can use this into the next time. So we can call it as a reused cache. If the lookup table change occasionally, you can override the session property to recache the lookup from the database. When you use the persistent lookup cache, you can specify name for the cache file. When you specify name cache, you can share the lookup cache across the sessions which we call the share cache. So let's understand the difference between the shared cache and persistent cache. Both the cache means both the persistent and share cache can be named as well can be shared in multiple session. But when lookup use the shared cache, it delete the data once the session is completed. But in persistent cache, it will not delete the cache means the cache can be stored permanently which we can use later. So in persistent cache, you can use full when same lookup data need to be used in multiple sessions. Shared cache when multiple lookup within a same session need to use the same data. Persistent cache store on disk and can be reused across the session runs. Shared cache store in memory only available during the session run. In persistent cache, it improves the performance of session that repeatedly use the same lookup data as the cache in build only once. In shared, it improves the performance with the session by sharing the cache across the multiple lookups avoiding redundant cache building weeds. In persistent cache, the data is written between the sessions, reducing the need to rebuild the cache for every session. Data, but in the shared cache, data is not written between the session. It is shared only within a same session. So let's understand with the help of mapping. So I have, uh, this is my mapping which I already do. We can delete the duplicates record by using this mapping but we'll see what is the static lookup and what is the property of the lookup cache. So in static cache what happened? For example, uh, in first session run, if the uh, in the static and dynamic both when these we run the first session first day it will create and delete the cache second day also if we run the same mapping then it will again create and delete the cache so normally what happens once the session completed static and dynamic cache get vanished but in persistent cache it will not delete it we can reuse it so you can check in advanced property by default lookup is static cache and it does not change so here we'll enable the lookup cache enabling so you can see the difference when you click on this property lookup data cache size and lookup index cache size will be enabled here okay then you can see here lookup cache persistent so we click on here lookup cache persistent I will give the name lookup cache save this
so let me show you first this is my two mapping this same mapping with i'm using with the different folders but this is the same mapping so what i will do i will run this mapping two times so in first mapping so this is my first mapping let me change name here so we will not get confused mapping one And here we enable the property persistent cache and we'll give the name lookup cache. Save this. Now let's run this mapping. For my second mapping, I am just renaming, I will rename it. We call it as a shared cache because we are we will be using same cache. So you can see mapping executed successfully. We'll download the session log. Here in the session log, you can see cache created let me search index cache data cache so we can see here created new cache files lookup cache it will also provide us the file name and the path for the data and index cache file you can see in this path we have to check the file so this is the interview question guys in interview they will ask when the file is generated when the cache is generated then where we can see that lookup cache or the persistent cache so on this path we can check so let's check Here go to Informatica Cloud Program Files then Informatica Cloud Secure Agent then Apps then Data Integration Server and Data and Cache folder is there so you can see here it created the data that DAT that means data cache and IDX means index cache so it is created the cache file now this is my second mapping where i will use the same cache because my lookup table is same even column name everything is same go to advance here the lookup cache now it will not create the cache again it will reuse the same cache which is already created so let's run this mapping so it will show us in the uh, session log existing cache it's fill y 
at a later expression you look up all the answer okay okay we'll remove that condition we'll simply keep as a insert now let's run Now you can see mapping executed successfully. Let's download the session log. So let's make try with the existing cache. So you can see here using existing using existing cache file lookup cache which file it, it used the lookup cache file so in this way it use we can reuse the persistent cache which, which save the temporary cache we can use and whenever we use and give the name it will be called as a shared cache so you can see here lookup cache is not created again it simply took this cache so in this way guys you can use the persistent cache in informatica cloud and let me show you this recache from lookup source so re recache is nothing but what happened when you change your table table structure when you add or delete any column then it will create the cache from the beginning so this is the use of recache from the lookup source data and index cache we already talked about this dynamic lookup cache i have already uh, uploaded the video you can see that video so you will get the clear idea by using the dynamic lookup cache we can also delete the duplicate record and how it exactly used lookup source is static is nothing but the by default lookup source is static in pre built lookup cache so in pre built lookup cache you can see there is the two uh, options auto and value so you can give the value so value is always allow and disallow there are again two values in the pre built lookup cache so in this way you can use the uh, lookup cache i have covered all the static cache dynamic cache what is persistent cache and shared cache if you go with this video you will clear all the concepts and if you feel this video is informative guys please like share comment on my youtube channel and subscribe my youtube channel thank you